Installing Service Desk is quick and easy. If you have recently purchased the software, you will have received an email with the link to download the installer. If you don't have it handy, contact our support team using the information in the description of this video. Once you have downloaded the installer, locate where you downloaded it to, and double left click on it. After double clicking the installer, Windows may ask you security permissions to run it. If this happens, left click on yes. The setup window will open and let you choose where you want to install Service Desk. With rare exception, you'll most likely want to leave this as the default. This lets you choose if you want to create a shortcut icon on your desktop for the software, we recommend leaving it checked as well. Click Install. Once it's done, you'll have the option to launch Service Desk when you click Finish. When Service Desk opens for the first time, you'll be greeted by some messages explaining what's going on and how to get started. The first page you'll see is Settings. It is separated into two sections. The top, which is green, is settings local just to this installation of Service Desk and will not affect other computers. The bottom section, in purple, is global or netwide settings. These are settings which affect all other installations of the software in your organization. These settings will be explained in detail in future videos. This guide is just about installation and general setup. To continue in the setup, you first must enter the name of the person using this installation, first and last. We'll enter John Smith. When done, click Save Local Values. Next is the purple section. You are not required to enter anything here to continue, but you may take a moment to fill out some information if you like. When you're ready, click Save Netwide Values. Once you have read and accepted the end user license agreement, you will see one of the main pages of Service Desk called Call Sheets. If you need to return to the settings page at any time, just click the file drop-down in the upper left corner of the software, then Settings.